the next time if someone asks me a question like Lee what's it like to compete with those big guys use the word tall not big because <laughs> really those guys are six foot and their measurements are the same as mine five four and a half that makes them the small guys pathetic I don't think you're supposed to do that. Pawns can, yeah. I don't. I think you're supposed to put on the black. Cause yours did black. Oh, I, I won. I won the game. I just killed all your men with a uh, nuclear bomb. The haircut looking nice, yeah, my boy. Yeah, I like that. I like that shirt too. You should have said our hard trend plus big booty Latina. Yeah, that would have been smart. Today, what we're gonna be doing is um, none other than besides the, being the biggest tools in the fucking gym, we're gonna be doing the giant slayers arm workout. Best arms in bodybuilding history. Super sets, heavy as possible with good form. Lee Priest is probably you know my favorite bodybuilder of all time, next to like Jay Cut. But Lee Priest, he's just different, bro. I'd rather look at him than you know these Instagram models these days. Hey, that's what that's what it's all about. <laughs> We're at a new gym today because um, you know putting yourself in situations that you're uncomfortable. That's how you get better. That's how you grow. The thing I like about Lee Priest. Other than, you know, his physique. Like, he genuinely didn't give a fuck. He said whatever he wanted. He didn't like how the fucking sport was ran. He stood up against it even when they fucking kicked him out. And he's fucking tatted and jacked. And that's essentially what I just want want to be. Tatted and fucking jacked. Oh, you might be asking, I heard trend. Well, Michael, why are you promoting such a serious drug that could potentially harm the youth? Listen, fucker. All right, it doesn't say... I support the use of trend. It might as well. But anyways, <laughs> no, I just, I love the gag shirt. It's fucking hilarious to me. It's literally just, you know, everybody loves irony now. That's all I hear about is how ironic it is. You know what's ironic? Is ironic, having 21 inch arms and it not being a fucking enough. That's, I need 24. <laughs> that's that's ironic. fucking ironic is me working it's not at, ironic. having 21 inch arms and still being unhappy. Irony Sounds is like right. Humpty Dumpty, like is a fucking egg, right? He's eating eggs. That's ironic. Because mm. he's mm. a fucking egg eating eggs. Well, it's pretty ironic that I have big arms. A bodybuilder has big arms, but he's unhappy. That's not ironic, bro. That's called body dysmorphia, buddy. It's me and Mikey's merch, Trend Tech. Pre-orders fucking tomorrow. You know, you don't see your fucking competition every day. All right, you're like a fucking blacksmith. You're in there chiseling, fucking hammering away, trying to build a better fucking physique. We're gonna try and get it done and have a good ass fucking lift. You got a basketball. I'm a lockdown specialist. <laughs> oh. Oh. I used to be that white boy for real, like that, that you white You are boy. white. <laughs> what, first one to five? I got that Kyrie dribble package, watch out. Yeah. Come, bro, you really? Yeah, I'm gonna take that all day. I'm a 93 overall. You shit it. You shit it. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No. You saw me You saw me Yeah. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> this, we actually played basketball until the gym closed. And um, so we had to send it back to the home gym. We're gonna hit arms in here. This is pretty insane. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen fucking workouts. That's the best part about owning your own fucking home gym. You can play whatever fucking music you want. Getting that blood flow going. Away from the Johnson, into the biceps. Ugh. Concentrate. 
I'm just keep it up there. I'm I'm I I'm concentrating, okay? <laughs> really hard. Talk I'm not trying to get pissed off at you. You're talking to me, you're not concentrated. Gotta be like 21s right now. I measured them the other day, they were 20. Without a pump? Or with? Yeah. With? Without a pump. They gotta be like 21 right now, then. Yeah. How about big was Lee Priest? 20, 23? 23. I think we're the biggest. That's fucking these insane. Are 20, these are definitely 20 and a half or 21. Yeah, they're they're 21 got it. For they got sure, it, bro. Like, they're My shit feels like 21, bro. Massive, bro. Like, but it's not a just about, you know, this size is about the fucking girth. That's how girthy it is, man. Good with that <laughs> shit. Next one we got Peachy Curls and Seated Alternate Dumbbell Curls. This is probably my favorite arm workout. It really works your forearm because you have a bicep muscle actually runs through here. So it works that muscle, your forearms, and it's just, it, it's the best. And I get the best pump from it. <laughs> Chin-ups four times till failure yeah. with pre dumbbell preacher curls. No, really. If you don't grow from this, the sheer amount of inflammation, you'll gain an inch. I ain't gonna lie, usually my arm day consists of me just curling until I get a pump. Like, I don't track shit. Like, I just curl until my arms feel like they're gonna blow up and then I go eat. I'm excited that we're not even halfway through the fucking workout. <laughs> we might have to take a fucking lunch break. Eat after bicep, eat and then do tricep. This is a fat issue, dog. Shit. Yep, the vein's still can't even peak, bro. You got close grip bench and 
Next. The last of the bicep? Yeah. No, there's more bicep at that. That was more at the end? Just switches off? Yeah. I just, just literally, my biceps just stopped working. So what, you, what were you wiping behind that? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't wipe nothing. I, I, there's no light switch behind there, so. I didn't, I didn't put go back there. Bro, you wiping your boogies in there? No. Boogies, bro, really? Yeah. You're talking to me like I'm five. Yeah, that's what I had to say. Well, when you watch, when you, when you watch shit and. Mikey, I don't want to hear it, bro. Your car is riddled with boogers. No, it's not. I don't do that in the Z. My favorite tricep workout, we got that. Close grip bench and then the two arm dumbbell extensions. So the one, the dumbbell above your head, Mike, that's what you got. We don't have heavy enough dumbbells, so I'm gonna have to do it. Additional foam. Just put it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That heartbeat. Damn. It plays a horrible melody of rage. Ah, shit. mix between a skull crusher and a close grip bench. It's like a mix between two. You don't want to do, like, you want to come down to your forehead. Cut. Let that boy do a fresh cut. He, 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 he. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, no Last fucking set. I'm swinging. My form's going. 
honestly, that was fucking intense. Like, it was too long. Like, honestly, I think it was, it was too long. Obviously, there's like probably a million Lee Priest arm days on the internet. I don't know if that was the right one. It said it was the interview. So, I just went with that one because I had a screenshot of it. But there was another video that I seen that was a little shorter. Better exercises too. But I didn't know which one to choose. Fuck, I chose this one. There's probably another one. But like, if I could change anything about this particular Lee Priest arm workout, there's too many variations to the same exercise. Like, well, that's why it's Lee Priest arm day. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what but I'm overall, saying. But the going heavier, like I usually don't go heavy, but I felt got a good ass pump and feel like I really worked myself and my muscles and that eight rep range is perfect. Fuck out of them, which you want with hypertrophy. So I think I reached that. Um, <clears throat> so, like, some of it was too light and I could have got a few more reps and then some of it was too heavy. And so just trying to find that, that amount of weight for the, that rep range is probably the hardest part. Yeah. And the sheer amount of fucking volume. Well, what do you know? Chicken and fucking rice. <clears throat> Yours is 216. 210. Or 220. Mine's 210. So are you sure? Um, it was 220. The two. Whatever. It's 220, but. It says 210 on mine. Well, one of mine is 210 one? and the other is 220. Well, brother, you're wrong. Nope. Yours is 215. I'm changing it, fucking asshole. Fucking questioning me. What the fuck? I know what I'm doing. Fuck. My fuckers didn't even wash their hands. Fucking insane. Oh wow. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot to be honest. I could eat about three times this amount. But I'm done being a fat fuck. So here we are. Excuse me, folks. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? We got some mustard. I'll wait till it's heated up, actually. Nah, bro, he cooked this shit long enough. <laughs> He's such a... He wasn't here to protect me. <laughs> He's such a... It'd be crazy if I just started eating that shit, right? <laughs> Same thing, huh? Thing. Same thing, man. Nah, you actually about to, bro. Yep. You're such a prick. What the fuck? What do you mean? It's the same shit. I don't want to eat it off a plate. <laughs> the fuck? It isn't that deep. It is that deep. Oh, this isn't heated up. My shit's not heated up. Thank fucking you. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. If I did that to you, you'd be fucking pissed. <laughs> Why well, I put my shit in there and went in there and did ensure clean in the gym so I could come back and it's fucking heated up. It's not fucking funny. It, it is pretty funny. No, it's not. It's really not. My shit's stale. <laughs> no, good. <laughs> oh, he grabbed that rice you eating, bro. <laughs> he tried to break it apart and it wouldn't break apart. Why the fuck did you do that? It ain't fair, I always get the short end of the stick, is it? 